divided by, or f of x divided by g of x, that simply just means f of x divided by g of x. Now, we did learn how to divide polynomials, right? So if it's possible, sometimes we might want to look into simplify them. But when I go with f of x, I have x plus 5 divided by g of x, which is x minus 4. All right. And you know, when looking at uh, this problem, we're just going to have automatically um, you know, looking into the remainder, all we can simply do is just leave this as a simplified form. But then we need to make sure we have our constraint. And remember, our only constraint was our denominator could not equal 0. So therefore, I'm simply just going to take whatever my denominator is and set it equal to 0. Then I solve for x, and that's going to tell me what values make my denominator equal to 0. So the values that make my denominator equal to 0 cannot be a part of my um, division of my two functions. So we say comma x cannot equal 4. So division would simply be like that. All right? OK. Um, do we go into composition too? Yes, sir. Did I do f of g of x and g of f of x?